Well, hey guys, welcome. We are going to be doing a little bit of a review on this that I made on a live stream. But before we do that, could you please subscribe? Even if you don't want to, you can turn notifications off. If you just subscribe, that'd be great. Anyway, this thing over here is an automatic farm plant harvester and sorting machine. We have used mods in order to do this. Those mods are from Font. I quite enjoy his mod pack. It's brilliant. It offers a lot of stuff. This over here, most of this can be done to a degree in vanilla, so don't worry too much about that. So first things first, we've got the water. The water's pretty basic. It's run off a controller, two pistons, and the water obviously trundles out. We've got a sensor at the back there that you can see, detect these blocks, and that will water the crops. So that's pretty vanilla, pretty basic. Similar thing with the harvesting. We've got two vacuum pumps. I've set it up like this so that I can have the planting stuff above. So my harvesting is at the side. I've got a vacuum pump this side and a vacuum pump this side. And these will harvest the crops. And the crops will go into this chest here. We've got seeds and we've got uh, crops. Now, this is where the mods come into play. So this vacuum pump here is looking at this chest. With Fonts Mods, the vacuum pump can suck out of a chest. So what I've got set up here is you'll see there's no pipes or anything connecting this chest to anything else other than that other vacuum pump so what happens here is everything is in this chest and when i click the button everything will get sucked out of this and it will go into this chest where it will sit obviously we've got some potatoes in here that's cool from that point onwards this system does all of the sorting this is the main bit that we can't do with vanilla because it just doesn't exist at the minute these are filtered chests now a filtered chest you put your item into the filter and then only that item will go into the chest an example here being the tomato so this chest will take the tomatoes so this is the filter and then in the actual chest itself this is the tomatoes now this is run on logic so here's my little logic it's just a little repeater because you need to activate this stuff. it doesn't automatically pull from this chest or it isn't doing for me anyway so i've set it up to repeater so it's like constantly checking so what we've got here is this repeater will run this vacuum pump as well as these chests. Then what we've got is a load of logic set up here to enable it to plant. So what happens is this. I suppose it starts here. This sensor here and this sensor here will detect when the two corner crops are grown. When both of those corner crops are grown, it activates this memory bit. Now this memory bit will set off the water in and it'll also have a countdown timer to set off this countdown timer. So this memory bit will activate, the water will get to the end. This first timer will reset this memory bit which means the water will come back. Then when the water is back this timer should be ready to launch all these. I will show you how it all works. If you remember in here look we've got all of our stuff. So we've got seeds and veggies. So I'm going to start this off. So we click this button here. Bang. You see it's already drawing everything up. So that's everything drawn up. And then we go in here. And everything's getting sorted. So all our tomatoes are gone. We've only got seeds in here now. And the tomatoes are in here. I'll show you this. If we completely empty this of tomatoes. I'll run over to this chest. Put everything in this chest. Look. So we're here. And you can see it going through and getting sorted. So it just kind of goes into this chest and then it gets sorted through. So that's how the sorting stuff works. Now here is something else. I don't know if this is just because I'm on the test server or if it's because just scrap mechanic in general. The spud gun will grow crops. If you notice my crops are planted, if I shoot them, they grow. It doesn't matter what crop it is. Over here we've got an orange. If I shoot this, it grows. It grows a tomato, grows this, and yeah, so you can basically just grow everything by shooting it with a spud gun. Don't know if it's supposed to do that or what. So anyways, pretend over time it's grown, and then bang. The four corners are up, it's been harvested. The water trugs along and waters everything. The timer counts down for the planter, and the planter plants the seeds. And only the seeds, because the seeds are in here, all the fruit and everything else has been moved over here nice and easy 100% fully automatic and that is it now obviously other than defending it but when these grow as you'll see again we'll grow everything up it's grown again harvested straight away water is activated items are getting sorted 
Seeds are already there. Water's retracted. The timer's countdown. And now we've got our crops planted. Amazing thing. Like I say, you can do most of this in vanilla. The only thing you can't do in vanilla is the splitting of the seeds from the produce. And that is the most important bit for an automatic farm. Ultimately, if you end up having the product and the seeds in one chest, well, one, you're going to fill it up really quick, and two, you just don't know what you're going to plant. If you end up with crops in this top corner, you're going to be trying to fire your crops down and plant your crops. You don't want to be doing that. You want to be doing seeds. This is a joyful thing that Fonts Mods over here lets us do. It might not be everybody's cup of tea. You guys might come up with better and more compact ways to do this. I was just trying with this. This is what I came up with. Doesn't need to be this bulky. This is literally just for every single thing that you could plant other than cotton is the only thing I haven't got on here. But all the vegetables and all the fruit will all be taken care of here so I could plant anything on this tiny little plot. Looks a little big. I do agree it does look a little big. But it's 100% automatic. It does exactly what we want it to do. Hope you guys enjoyed. Go check out the live stream if you really want to. I shall link it hopefully in the card or something. But appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching and take it easy. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already. Take it easy. Bye for now. Bye, guys. Bye.